mkazi wa mkuru ositegera ngatai na cha koze no muwanana so i'm like please jolly make it make sense my sister like why does it turn your head sahara to Guys, I am tired of the misunderstanding between baby Gloria and Mama Dem. Put it up in me. Can we please move on to something else? Please. Every single day. Welcome to my channel. This is your first time seeing this amazing, beautiful, gorgeous face. My name is Boogie Junior, and this is my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a very huge thumbs up. Uh, turn your post notifications on. And if you are a returning subscriber, you're welcome back. Thank you. I love you and I appreciate you so much. As you guys can see by the title, uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about season one, but episode number two episode three of kampala cream <laughs> you guys the more i watch kampala cream the more exciting it gets and the more i want to watch every time before we get into the review i want to first of all applaud the organizers of the show once again because let me tell you i don't know who the designer is of the show but the outfits of the ladies are giving Tanya's outfits are always on point gloria's outfits are always amazing mama deb's outfits are also they look pussy <laughs> and Zaha Tata, we shall not talk about that one but her outfits are also uh, somehow somewhere there another thing that i realized about this show is that this show made me realize that uganda is not a bad place okay uganda is a very beautiful country i am just the one that is living in the trenches but the moment i leave the trenches like this i will see uganda as a beautiful place because trust me what i saw yesterday guys uganda is really beautiful because all the scenes we saw were shot here in Uganda, Kampala. Yeah. So I think I think Uganda is really a beautiful place. And if you're disagreeing with me, it's because you're in the trenches. Bamu trenches and go visit other places because Uganda is really beautiful. Now let's get into the review. But a little a recap for you guys that didn't watch the episode two. We ended episode two with Mama Deb and Zahara on one side and Itania and Baby Gloria on one side. So Ngabeko Zemo now with this episode jolly who is gloria's sister pressures her into a party okay the moment i had this idea i was like this is a bad idea things are not going to turn out right but i was like okay let me just keep watching let me see how things are going to end so jolly is like you know what just invite mama day but jolly jolly is instigative somehow because i know with my whole heart and entire body that jolly hates mama Deb and she's just doing it because she wants to get back at mama Deb. but she tells Gloria you know what I think it is time to buy the hatchet just call her invite her and you know you can talk things out and get one understanding meanwhile Itania goes out to meet mama Deb, and Itania tries to explain things to mama Deb and be like you know what it's just a little misunderstanding you guys can get back together things can be normal again you guys can actually be friends you just got off of the wrong foot at the beginning and you know you can find a way to 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 do things and but, i understand where mama Deb was coming from because i am also a person who believes being friends with you with people who are friends with your enemy is just ridiculous it doesn't work out it is just you know and it always ends negatively so i really understand where mama Deb was coming from because according to mama Deb, she was explaining to Tanya and she was like hey Tanya, when we were having the disagreement with baby gloria you clearly decided to be on baby gloria's side and right now you're trying to make a middle ground just to make me feel better but at the end of the day you are on baby gloria's side and, and the whole time itania was making excuses itania was talking about oh for me i don't care if you're friends with my enemy i will still be friends with you and that it doesn't make sense to me okay so i agree with mama Deb with that one and at the end of it all mama Deb is like you know what it is okay i will agree to you know talk it out with gloria and be friends again with gloria and all that and she's like but on one condition if you agree to have the same spirit with Zahara Toto. And then it is then that I'm just finding out that Itania has a huge hatred for Zahara Toto. I have never seen it on the show. I do not know why they they don't like each other. Okay, I don't know if Zahara hates Itania as well, but as as, as we saw on the show, Itania has deep hatred for Zahara Toto that she cannot forgive, that she cannot forget. And I want to know why. Like, why does Itania hate Zahara Toto? 
because according to what I see on the show, there's nothing major that has happened. There's no sort of confrontation that has happened between Itania and Zahara Toto for Itania to have that amount of hatred. Anyways, moving so, on. So still in this conversation as Mama Deb is talking to Itania, Itania mentions about baby Gloria's party that she's having, pyjama party, because when Gloria had made the, 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 the decision to have the party, she had called Itania and was like, Itania, I'm inviting you girl for the party, and I'm also planning on inviting Mama Deb so we can bury the hatchet and just move on, you know. So Itania goes out of the way to mention it to Mama Deb, and she's like, you know what, if she invites you for the party, just go and attend and, you know, just be there and enjoy yourself. And Mama Deb goes, and one thing about Mama Deb is you always choose violence. So Mama Deb went ahead to say this is just a kid's party. Maybe she should just invite her kids and, you know, her young children because it is going to be a kid's party referring to baby Gloria as just a kid. You know, she, she was referring to it as just a sleepover of kids where they're going to put on pajamas. And she was even complaining about the fact that, you know what, baby Gloria, you don't even get my size right, my cup size, da da da. She was going on and on and on and on and on about how it is going to be a kid's party. And I was just like, you know, just move on. Just let it be. If you're not going, you don't go. If you want to go, then you go. Okay? Maybe Gloria has an event plan. So she, she reaches out to her event plan and she's like, I have this event. We had this misunderstanding. And uh, to me, that information was relevant to the event plan. And there is no reason why Baby Gloria would go to the event plan and tell her the business. To, like, tell her why she's having the event. Just explain what you want for the event and that is it. But she felt the need to elaborate and be like, I had a misunderstanding. Guys, I am tired of the misunderstanding between Baby Gloria and Mama Deb. Put it up in me. Can we please move on to something else? Please. Please, I'm begging. Okay. So it was time for Baby Gloria to actually invite Mama Deb for the night party, for the pajama party. And guys, Baby Gloria told her PA, Jemima, so her PA actually called Mama Deb's PA, Ruth. So it is the PAs that had the conversation. So Jemima was like, Mama Deb, um, Jemima was like, Hi, Gloria wants to invite Mama Deb for the event, so pass on the message to Mama Deb. And as she was told, Ruth went on to, you know, uh, pass on the information to Mama Deb. And I, I understood where Mama Deb was coming from. If you want to invite me to the event, why can't you contact me yourself? Why do you have to go through the corners and do all that? At the end of the day, if you're saying this party is going to, you know, bring us back to good times, then you should have the audacity to, you know, call me yourself. And I also understand where Baby Gloria was coming from because if it was me as well, maybe I would have done the same because at the end of the day, nobody wants rejection, okay? So imagine if she called Mama Deb and I was like, no, I'm not coming. The shame! <laughs> the shame! So if she chooses not to go, it would be like, huh, I actually didn't ask her myself. I told my PA to do it. So then it is less burdening. I know if you guys understand what I'm saying. So one thing that confused me, okay? That night of the party, we get to see baby Gloria's mom. Baby Gloria's mom makes a feature on the show. And they get to have this conversation about how Zahara Toto was talking. So they talk about the conversation that Zahara Toto had with Mama Deb. Now in my head, I'm like, who? Who spilled that information to baby Gloria? Because as far as, far as we saw, Mama Deb Nezahar Toto Bani maybe to be a when they come out. So Simani, who went ahead to tell, who went ahead to tell that baby Gloria that Zahar Toto said that and that and that and that about her mom, okay? I don't know how that information got spilled. By the end of the day, uh, baby Gloria's mom is like, you know what, I don't care about that. Don't even give her your time, just do your thing. And all that motherly thing. She was giving her confirmation that she's the first child star. You was star Smanya two years and Smanya eight months. Da, da, da. So she was basically just being a good mom and encouraging her daughter and being there for her and buying her fuel. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> but yeah. So fast forward, we move to the event. Guys, maybe Gloria's designer. Let me give you a, a hand clap, okay? Because you did your thing. I loved her pink dress. I also loved Itania's pink dress. Jolly, Sam take it the blonde, naka kweke, but I am, but okay. Saka take it the blonde. And at the end of it all, we get to see event planner the Yakoze. And trust me, guys, when I saw that, I was like, uh, I'm not an event planner, but trust me, this looks so basic. Well, lie, it looked so basic the balloons and everything. Like when I had skies and all that, I was like, maybe they're gonna get a cute place, 
with like a cute place inside skies and you know something special something whatever tone but like i expected it to be a little bit extra but it was as basic as basic as basic Okay, it was so basic. So anyway, the, the invited people arrived. Uh, baby Glory arrived with her sister. So as I was waiting for Mama Deb to arrive, Jolly was like, when she arrives, how do we react? Da, da, da. And one thing I didn't understand about Jolly is she keeps saying she's a young child. She's 16. She's very young. But at the end of the day, if you think you're young and you believe you're a young child, then why do you interfere in matters of the old? Wamu te get a thing number. So he keeps saying, I'm a young girl. Why would she swallow my younger? By the end of that day, why are you born? Because I'm a girl. Was she get a that I'm not sure. Because they know I'm one another. So I'm like, please, Jolly, make it make sense, my sister. Please. But in general, guys, there's nothing much about this episode. There's nothing really to tell. I felt like it was very short. I don't know if it was about if it was just me, but I felt like it was very short. But the next episode, I am very excited because I saw. Snippet in the pyjama party, pussy pyjama party. So I'm very excited for that as well. But one thing I want to say is, as time goes by, I'm really starting to understand Mama Deb and where she's coming from. Okay, because in the show, I really I was one of the people that misunderstood her, but with time, I'm starting to understand her and who she really is and where she's coming from with certain situations. Now, moving on to the heart, I love the fact that in this episode, we didn't get to see the heart at mingle with that kind of energy and we just got to see her in her motherly element uh she was she took her kids out on a date and i really i really think she's a great mother she looks like a great mother to me because she you know she balances out the, the whole traditional but modern kind of parent who's like you know what i'm your mom and you will do whatever i say but at the end of the day i want to hear what you have to say okay so she she, she was busy telling her kids that they performed poorly so she's going to take them to boarding school and she has this by the way zahara toto the names of her children guys i was trying to to even write down and be like you know what uh, let me try to remember the names but the names i only remember the first born son who's called heaven so a lot of you guys that don't even know zahara toto is a mother okay she has five children she has two girls and three amazing boys and guys the names of these children not taking the body heaven in your car so I love the fact that we really got to see her as a mother because most people think in their celebrity life is how they are at home and I would like to disagree with that because the way I saw the Arjuna with her children was really amazing and it was it, it is a good relationship according to what I see it is a good relationship with her children and that is all for uh, episode 3 season one of Kampala cream i'm very excited for the next episode this episode didn't really give what it was supposed to give it was so my highlight for me in episode three is going to be the mama deb and itania conversation where she was uh where she was told about the pyjama party and the way she termed the pyjama party yeah baby gloria the way she was talking about it referring to it as a kid's party even i have to say but yeah, that is all guys for episode 3 And if you have watched eh, eh. So I think I'm going to end here for now uh, I'm very excited for next episode And like I told you guys I won't be just doing reviews of Kampala Cream I'm going to be doing something exciting That I'm going to be bringing to you guys Anytime from now So stay on the lookout for that If you haven't subscribed subscribing right now okay give this video a like and turn your post notifications on because when i upload you'll be notified okay so that is all in today's episode thank you so much guys for watching and i will catch you guys